Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this three to six man Darth Vader beanie. Okay, just a heads up. Um, it's going to be a little bit hard for me to explain um, this part here. I've been wanting to make this video for a very, very long time. I just do not have the courage to um, explain how to make it because it is really hard for me. I uh, I made a lot of Darth Vader beanie, but it's just so hard for me to explain some of the part. I hope this tutorial is easy for you to um, follow and let's just get started. And for the yarn, I'll be using this brand, Studio Classic by Nicole. This is 100% acrylic. The recommended crochet hook is 5.5 millimeter, but I'll be using 4.5 millimeter. Um, the reason why I use 4.5 millimeter is because I do I want the stitch to be a bit tight and close. If I use 5.5, it's going to be too loose for the beanie that I want to make. And also, you need two pieces of felt, gray and black, needle, two weaving, and glue gun and also scissors okay let's start by making a slip knot you can use magic ring magic circle if you want but I prefer um, this way so make a slip knot and make chain 3 once you get chain 3 make 12 double crochet into the first chain right here okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, because I'm using black yarn, it's going to be a little bit hard for you to see, but I'll try my best to zoom it in. So, this is the first round. For round two, start with chain two, one, two, and make two double crochet into every stitch, starting from the stitch next to chain two. So two double crochet into every stitch. So by the end of round two, you should have 34 double crochet. Okay, I'm going to continue until the 12 stitches and I'll see you once I'm done. Okay, I'm done with round two. So round two I have 24 double crochet. I'm going to slip stitch. And let's start with round <coughs> round three. Round three start with chain two, one, two, and now I'll make one double crochet into the next two stitch, starting from the stitch next to chain two. So one double crochet and one double crochet. So one double crochet here, one double crochet into the next stitch, and next going to be increase. So two double crochet into the next stitch so <clears throat> let me show you again one double crochet one double crochet and two double crochet into the next stitch so the pattern for round three is going to be one double crochet and one double crochet and then Two double crochet into the next stitch okay so I'll continue um, round three um, continue the same pattern for eight times and by the end of round three you should have 32 double crochet or 32 stitches okay I'm done with round three I have um, 32 stitches so 32 double crochet so I'm going to slip stitch and let's start with round four. Okay, for round four, start with chain two, one, two, 
and now I'll make one double crochet into the next three stitch always start from the stitch next to chain two so one double crochet two double crochet and three double crochet and next stitch will be um, the increase so two double crochet into the next stitch so for round four the pattern is going to be three double crochet one two three and two double crochet into the next stitch so repeat the same pattern for eight times and by the end of round four you should have 40 four zero double crochet okay I'm going to continue and I'll see you once I'm done okay I'm done with round four and I'm going to slip stitch now let's start with round number five start with chain two one two now I'll make one double crochet into the next four stitch always start from the stitch next to chain two so one two crochet into the next stitch so one and two double crochet so pattern for round five is going to be four double crochet one two three four and two double crochet into the next stitch repeat for eight times so by the end of round five you should have 48 double crochet or 48 stitches so I'm going to continue round 5 and I'll see you once I'm done. I'm done with round 5, so slip stitch. Let's start with round 6, start with chain 2, 1, 2. And I will make 1 double crochet into the next 11 stitch. So always start from the stitch next to chain 1, so I'll make 11. Eleven and increase into the next stitch the 12th stitch make two double crochet into the next stitch here. so repeat the same pattern for four times so 11 double crochet and two double crochet into the next stitch so I'm going to continue and I'll see you once I'm done okay I'm done with round six so by the end of round six you should have 52 double crochet okay so I'm going to slip stitch so I'm going to do round seven until round ten it's going to be the same pattern so we'll start with chain two and make 52 double crochet around so I'm going to continue round seven until round ten and I'll see you once I'm done. So seven, round seven and until round ten is going to be chain two and fifty-two double crochet around. Okay, so I'll see you once I'm done. Hi, I'm back and I'm done with round ten. I'm going to slip stitch and for round eleven, chain one and make fifty-two half double crochet. Okay, so for round 11, it's going to be half double crochet round. So I'm going to finish up. to show you how to make the back part of the hat um, I don't know what you call that but I'll show the picture right here and okay first you need to make a slip knot and start this is the back and I like to start a little bit over here so we're starting from the row six 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is the row six. Just bring your hook into one of the stitch. Okay, now I'm going to make um, 38 double crochet across so this is one double crochet so two three so you just pick up the stitch right here at round six okay so I will go ahead and make 38 double crochet and I'll see you once I'm done with all 38 stitch okay I'm done with 38 double crochet so this is the chain 2 where I started the chain 2 I consider I count it as um, the first double crochet and ended here this is for round 1 for round 2 chain 2 and make 38 double crochet so just crochet back to where we started all the way here okay I'm going to continue and I'll see you once I'm done okay I'm back and I'm done with row two so for row three chain two and for row three I'm going to make three stitch increase so I'm going to make um, two double crochet into this stitch here at the middle here two double crochet right here and two double crochet right here okay there's no specific count where you want to put um, the extra three stitch so what I'm going to do and two double crochet into this stitch okay and then i'm going to continue crochet all the way to the middle and i'll make two double crochet into this stitch and all the way here and two double crochet into this stitch so as long as you have three stitch increase it's okay so by the end of um round three you should have 41 double crochet okay i'm going to finish up i'll see you once i'm done okay i'm done with row three okay for row four and row five is going to be the same each row start with chain two turn the work around and make one double crochet into every stitch okay so now i'm at row number four and I'll finish up four and five and I'll see you once I'm done okay I'm back I'm done with row five so I'm just gonna leave this as is so now from the first at the first row the first double crochet here and the 38 double crochet in between here and here you should have um, 16 double crochet so this is where i started the first double crochet so next to it here this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and this is 16 okay. so you should have total of 16 double crochet in between the first and the 38 um, double crochet now what i want you to do is divide that 16 to 2 so we have to find the middle so count 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is the middle 
I'm going to place stitch marker right here. Okay, the reason to put the stitch marker here to find the center is so we can find the center for this right here. And okay, let's go ahead. So this is where I finished the row five. Now chain one. I'm going to make one half double crochet into every horse available all the way to up here the row number one okay so I trade one half double crochet okay once you make your half double crochet all the way up to row one here okay let me show you how I'm going to do this. I hope I can. you can understand how I'm going to explain. So, this is the stitch marker. And this is um, the round or the row where I'm going to do the curve. So, I'm going to start right here. I'll make two half double crochet. And half double crochet right here and one half double crochet two half double crochet one half double crochet and it's going up straight and down all the way here okay let me show you so <clears throat> I have to do this upside down because I can't um, crochet frontward it has to be like this okay so okay, I'm going to make two half double crochet into this um, stitch And two half double crochet into next stitch. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It's going up. Now I'll make one more half double crochet right here before I um, pick up the stitches all the way to this stitch. Now I'm going down one row, so right here I'll make two half double crochet into that stitch and one half double crochet right here and this is the stitch marker and I'm going to make <coughs> take it out and make one half double crochet okay now I'm done with half of it so this is how it looks like so I'm going to finish up this way so I'm going to make one half double crochet here and this row, two, double, two half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochet, one half double crochet, and down all the way here. Okay, I hope you can understand what how I'm trying to explain. I'm trying my best. And okay, let's finish this up. Okay, now we're going back up one row. So one half double crochet right here and now 
two half double crochet one two and now one half double crochet Two half double crochet, one half double crochet. Now we're almost at the end here, so I'm just going to make one row down. I'm gonna make two half double crochet, one, two, and now. This is the last one here, one half double crochet and one more, sorry, one half double crochet. So this is how it looks like. Can't really see it right here because I'm going to sew um, using the needle to put a stitch right here. Okay, let's just finish up and then I'll show you the rest. Okay, now I'm just going to make one half double crochet around um, all the way to the end. One half double crochet into every stitch available. Okay, now once you reach all the way, um, till the end at the same stitch where you ended make two more half double crochet two and now make um, one half double crochet into every stitch all the way here okay so I'm gonna finish up The one and cut the yarn. Okay, the hard part we're done. And now with the hard part, the most hard part, which is this one here. So now go ahead and get a black scrape yarn on the same yarn as you use. <coughs> get the needle. Make the knot. And so this is the center. Just go ahead and do it like that. Okay. Now, once I pull this down, you can really see the curve right here. Okay, so I'm just going to secure. Secure the stitch. Okay. Now you should the beanie should look like this. Okay. okay now I'm gonna show you how to make that part behind here, this. Okay. Now go ahead and make several chains. What you need to do is just change chain starting from here and all the way back till the end here, okay? It's just eyeballing, there's no specific count. I'll just go ahead and crochet the length.
okay so my chain is exactly at the end so what I'm going to do make extra three chain from where you ended one two three and make double crochet into the fourth chain one so one double crochet into every chain all the way back here okay I'm going to finish up and I'll see you once I'm done okay once you're done you should have something like this and make sure to leave it a very long and a long, long tail for you to weave in okay so I'm just going to chain one to secure the stitch So this is how it looks like, all the way to the back. Okay, so I'm just going to secure the stitch. Okay, so this is how it looks like. now I'm just going to weave in this end and this end here okay let me finish up and I'll show you what's the next step okay I'm done so um, next I'm going to show you how to make the eyes and nose and the mouth part using Um, for this also I do not have a specific measurement so I'm just going to make sure it's not too wide or too small okay so this is a little bit too big for my liking so I'm gonna cut like um, half an inch Okay, and this is way too long because we want the nose to end about one inch away from this here so I'm just going to estimate to cut roughly like that and okay so what you need to do fold it into half Okay, now cut um, half an inch from here and all the way up right So 
So you should have something like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the excess from that felt. So I'm going to use this for the eye. So I'm just going to fold it to half and make a curve and straight down. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like. It's the same size. So we have the eye. This is the nose and the mouth. Can I go ahead and get your gray yarn? I'll just cut. This is for the eye. So I'm going to make five gray stripe here. Okay, now I'm going to cut from the back. So I can okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, let's just go ahead and glue it on the bean. So make sure you find the center. This is where it's supposed to be now. And there you have it. This is the finished beanie, dark beta beanie for size 3 to 6 months. I'm sorry if it's a bit hard for me to explain this part right here. Okay, and do like and share this video. And also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos in the future. And for now, thank you for watching and i see you again.